Hey, yo, make sure you check my All Lad Stories playlist. And make sure you check my Story of Pottersfield playlist with my episodes talking about my adventures in the rap game. You heard? Make sure y'all tune in because you're missing out on valuable LAZ history if you not. And that's a fat Z-boy. Of course, man, make sure y'all go subscribe to that Brooklyn Arcade channel. You feel what I'm saying? I'm about to do my top 20 Genesis games. You feel me? I'll probably be dropping a new episode. It'll probably be out by the time you see this. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm about to do that top 20 Genesis games, man. You feel me? Because y'all pressuring me to do them. I'll stay strictly to arcade games, but dudes is pressuring me to do Genesis and Nintendo so I gotta get the people what they want. Make sure you subscribe. Shout out to the bro Manny Gomez, West Side Chicago. You feel what I'm saying? Blessing us with another story. You heard? Gen Pop Gang is in the building. You heard Slim Blunt Gang, Comment Gang. You feel me? And if you absolutely love what I'm doing on this channel, feel free to send me a Cash App Snow Nation. You heard? That Tuesday, I get a break. I called my baby mama. I was like, yo, let me speak to my daughter. She like, shit, she going out of town with your daddy. I said, what, bitch? Are you fucking serious? Bitch, I'll burn the whole bitch. Look, listen. Nah, man, I don't fuck with nobody, man. I get money, man. And like in my hood, you know, you stay in your lane. You get outside your lane, you gonna find out what's happening. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't sit on and like tell a story and be bragging about this, that, and that, and this. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you who I am and what the fuck I went through. You know what I'm saying? That's was real shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't win in every story. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, as well, because the reason I bumped up on your channel, because the first story I ever saw was like, he was like, when I knocked that nigga out in front of the police, I'm like, I gotta see what the fuck happened. With the checkers and shit, that shit was hilarious. But I'm like, see, this nigga right here, he telling the story that, like, my homies used to tell me after they come home from jail. Like, nigga, you don't want to fucking go, you know what I'm saying, though? So that's why I rock with the shit, you know what I'm saying? And I feel privileged to be able to tell a story. And I know a lot of motherfuckers on your channel be telling the story about when they went to jail and went through hard times and shit. I still listen to that shit, too, because, nigga, it's still a hard life, and the motherfucker don't want to go to jail, man, for real, man. So, like, I always been that motherfucker, but, man, hell yeah, I been over scared straight. Remember that show, Scared, scared Straight? Facts. Man, you talking about over scared straight. Like, I listen to you, <laughs> to the old stories, like, how can a motherfucker go through that? Man, look, so I'm going to tell you how I, how I go down, right? But it's a crazy story, some family shit involved. So I'm going to tell you the whole facts, though, right? So I got a daughter, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, me and my daughter, we rock, you know what I'm saying? My daughter, she grown now, you know what I'm saying? But this time, she a little kid. She like, maybe like 10, 11. So, my pops, my pops always lived out of town, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with my step pops. My step pops, that nigga fought, played chess and shit. Nigga was like African, pro-African dude. Like, he didn't play that shit, you know what I'm saying? But my real pops, he all right, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't the best pops, you know what I'm saying? He kind of a sucker, you know what I'm <laughs> Like, just real shit. So, you know, my mom's, she like, you know, I, I'm home from college and shit. And it's like, like maybe like a year after the shit happened to me when the niggas chasing, yo. <laughs> For real. I'm going through some shit, though, you know, just getting grown, you know? So my mom's like, you know, you need to reconcile with the nigga, you know, like rock with the nigga. I'm like, this nigga ain't never did nothing but bad me school clothes back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like when he come to town, my mama like bump into him, like, yo, that nigga here, tell that nigga to take you to school shopping, you know what time it is. But I ain't gonna lie, the nigga always took me and bought me the fly shit, whatever I wanted. Reebok pumps, whatever the fuck I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Can't hate on him for that. So this particular time, man, he come to town, man, I'm grown. Now, keep in mind, like I said, man, I'm a schoolboy, man. Like, I am, man. I play the game. I hoop, man. I put the hands on your ass, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to lose to me because they be like, damn, you lost the G? Damn. You know? But that's my rep, though. So, this 
this particular time, man, motherfucker come to town, man. And my mom's like, come on here, record sound with them, you know, fuck with them, woo, woo, woo. But I had a shorty when I was young, you know what I'm saying? And I really didn't tell my moms, you know what I'm saying? She found out, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have the best relationship with it. So, you know what I'm saying? My moms didn't really rock with the fact that I had a baby. She was like in denial, but it was crazy. Like when my baby mama had the baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm a gambler too, so... This day, I'm in the alley hooping. It's raining. You know what I'm saying? We hooping on the, on the rim in the alley. It's raining. I'm muddy than a motherfucker, but we playing $100 a man. I need that money. You know, where I'm from, they know we love money. That's all I'm saying. So, man, a cop pull up, big ass Lincoln. She in the back breathing and shit. I'm they like, oh, you shit, finna had a baby. I'm like, that ain't my motherfucker, baby. You know what I'm saying? Shh. Niggas like, boy, you bogus. They pull off and shit, you know. So my niggas older than me. I'm like, fuck that. Let's get back to the game. You know what I'm saying? It's raining and shit. They like, get your dumb ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? But go up to that fucking hospital. Hospital right across the park, right? So I'm like, no, nah, we gambling. So they almost whooped my ass to get my money back and shit. Send me across the park, right? I go across the park. No story short, she had a baby, right? But I see the baby. I'm like, oh shit, my mama gonna kill me. I'm like, this baby look just like me. I never saw nobody in my life look just like me, right? So I'm like, man, you know what? Fuck with my mama time about. I gotta take care of this baby. And I never, never not took care of my shorty, right? Like, so my shorty get about 10, you know what I'm saying? My mom's like, yo, go on, break side with your pops and you know, woo wop the wop wop woo. So I overthink the shit, man. Motherfucker come to town, man. I'm like, all right, back, we go out, you know what I'm saying? We talking. So I'm like, you know what? My mom said, I'm a, I need to reconcile with you. We're gonna be cool. So you know what? I'm gonna put you on a part of my life. That my moms don't really rock with. So I introduced them to my daughter. And this was ill. I'm gonna tell you the details. So um I slide, I'm like, he, I'm in the car with him. So I'm like, yo, slide right here. My first mistake was just showing him where I was going. You know what I'm saying? So I take him upstairs, let him meet my my daughter, my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? You know, at this time I like I still stay with my moms and shit, so um He's like, oh, grandbaby, woo wop the wop, 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 Now, I know this nigga a sucker in a snake, way. Right? He'll do anything to, like, try to be, like, cool or just, like, have a level, level leg up on that nigga just to say he a good nigga, right? So, I know he'll try to, like, jump over me and start taking care of my, my daughter better than I could just to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't really rock with him like that. You know what I'm saying? He an emotional type of character. So, I tell him, I'm like, yo, like, listen. Ain't no need for you to be going back telling my mama we did all this. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't no chaos in my life. My moms don't really rock with it, but she know I take care of my baby. So we really don't have a big discussion and all this and that and this and that. So he's like, nah, nah, I will not never do that. I will not never do that. No. I'm like, all right, bet. So we take the baby out, we ooh, drop off. Boom. Long story short, boom. So that was like a Friday or some shit. So it's like Tuesday. Now, I call my baby every day. We talk every day. But it was the weekend and shit. I ain't call it. Then Monday, I remember I was late for work. That Tuesday, I get a break. I called my baby mama. I was like, yo, let me speak to my daughter. She like, shit, she going out of town with your daddy. I said, what, bitch? Are you fucking serious? Bitch, I'll burn the whole bitch. Look, listen. So, I'm upset. At this time, I work downtown. Man. I make TV commercials and shit, right? So, I'm like... That's the job I got when I was like, hey, goddammit, man, he needs a job, and I got down there, like, for real. <laughs> so, <laughs> no lie, so I tell the dude, like, I tell the white dude, right, he really don't like me, right? Fuck his name, too, Kevin Burdack, motherfucker. So, look, he like, I'm like, yo, some shit happened, yo, woo, I gotta bounce. He like, man, go get your baby. So, I bounce. I don't know what to do first. I bounce dead to her crib. Yo, bitch. What the fuck is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, you don't even know that nigga from a can of paint. I just introduced him to you the day before yesterday. How the fuck did you let my daughter go out of town with this nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what this bitch said? I don't even believe it. The bitch said he gave me five hundred dollars. I said, bitch, I'll tear your head off right now. So what you said she I'm, said? He gave me five hundred dollars. A half a thousand wow? <laughs> bitch, I'll beat you up in here. Oh, oh my God, I'm over tight. I don't even know how to react, right? So, I shoot, bam. 
Now, I overblow my daddy phone up. Listen, man, I'm not playing no games. I told you I got bring my daughter home right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is Tuesday. So, I say, fuck it. I call Greyhound bus station. I booked the ticket. I went and got a 45, put it in my jacket. I'm finna go get on the bus. My bus leave tonight. You hear me? I know where he live. I'm finna catch the bus up there. Like, get off the... I'm, I'm fucking him up. It's, I'm taking my daughter and going home, right? So, they like, I get to the bus station. They're like, nah, Joe. The bus leave tomorrow night. I'm blue. I'm over mad. I'm what? I go back to the hood. I get back to the hood, right? I'm chilling the whole night. I call work the next day. I ain't coming in. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on the bus. So, I'm smoking all day. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, oh my God, I'm calling the phone. Motherfucker won't answer the phone. Turn out, the motherfucker won't answer the phone because he took my shorty from, from Chicago to another state. Then they took a vacation to another state. So, in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck? What if something would have happened to my shorty and everybody else would have lived? What, was, what could you? Oh, okay. So, you think it's a game? So, Wednesday night, the next night, John, like I'm chilling. It's a, you know, I'd be dumping in the summertime, the whole block dumping. John, I'm laying on the car, right? I'm waiting on my buddy to come downstairs and take me to the bus station, Joe. I got my eyes closed. I hear somebody say, hey, daddy. I turn around. It's my daughter. I said, where your granddaddy? Well, I wasn't even like, yay, hugging or nothing. I was just on red. Like, where your granddaddy? She's like, yo, my grandma's house. I'm like, all right, bet. So I hug my baby. I take her out to eat. You know what I'm saying? I try to calm down and shit. I go to work the next day. I get off work quick. Now I got to play my grandma lottery every day. My mom, my mom's mom, my grandma, lives on one block. His mom, my dad's mom, lives two blocks away. Like, that was the first place I was ever able to walk to by myself. So, I just go over there, playing the lottery for my grandma. I get the money for my grandma. My grandma gangster too. Rest in peace. I love my grandma. Dog. So, I get the money. I hop on the bike. I'm riding. I hit the alley on the block. I see his van. Oh, he finna get the beats. So I slide up on the bike. I jump off the bike. I'm like, hey, yo. He turn around and point his finger. I throw three. Pat, 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 pat. So I got lace him. He up a butter cutter with a little bitty ass knife, right? He up a butter cutter, right? I rush him, right? My uncle's standing right there. He like, boy, you better get off my brother. So I know I better not touch my uncle or my cousin will beat me. So I'm like, all right, bet. Let me bag up. I slide. Boom. I go play my grandma lottery, go change shirts, go back. I have no idea this man will call the police, right? So that night, it's bumping on the block. I'm chilling. I'm bumping on the block. I'm, I done laced them up. I'm feeling good. Everything. I look up. If I'm laying flash, like four police cars in front of my house. What the fuck going on? So I throw my dumb ass down the block. What the fuck going on right here? They say, yo, you... You Manny Gomez? I look at his eyes, yo. I say, yeah, I'm Manny Gomez. Man, this big man grabbed me so fast, G. He spit me around. He grabbed my right hand and spit me around at one time. I tried to get loose. It was no haps. It was like a gorilla had me, G. What the fuck is going on? So he locked me up. Pop, pop. He said, you know such and such. He told my pops name. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck was my pops? He like, yeah, your ass going down. That's what she get wild at, right? <laughs> So I tell my brother, I'm like, yo, tell your mom they got me, yo, I'm finna go. I don't know what the fuck finna happen, yo. I ain't never been to the police station, none of that shit a day in my life, right? So look, at this time, I'm like 19, bro. Bro, I get to the police station, right? Now they put me in the back of the car, right? I ain't saying shit, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my gangster movie on. Fuck these niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I ain't gonna ever forget, yo. Look, we get to the police station, right? As soon as we walk on that bitch, it's the middle of the summer. We walk in that bitch. It's Chicago cold in this motherfucker, Joe. What the fuck? Joe, they ain't say shit to me, bro. They took my ass way around. It. They walked me through a maze. They walked me through a steel door. Walked me through a maze on 23rd day. Walked me through like a little bitty maze and walked me in the back. 
bro, they put me in the cell. Wham! Soon as I get in the cell, I turn around, bro. Was two sleek Mexicans. Now, in my hood, on my side of town, I, some of us jam, some of us don't. They catch your ass, it's the beats. So, well, they sleep, but they over high, I can smell it, right? I'm like, damn, they off the shine. Oh, they finna wake up and fuck me up. They over big, right? So, instantly, by me not being in jail, never before, my mind realized how much of a mind fuck jail is. First of all, motherfucker, there's no window. I cannot tell what fucking time it was. I did not know how long I was in that motherfucker. It was one nigga laying on like a steel, or like a steel bed. The other nigga was sleep on the toilet with his pants down. I'm like, this is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing on my face right there like, oh my God, man, it's crazy, right? So, ain't no window, I, ain't no clock. I don't know what time it is. I've been in this motherfucker for like forever. Ain't nobody came back here and said shit to me about nothing. Well, about, I don't know how many hours in, I hear my mama voice. I'm like, oh, I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. Shit, fuck that. I know the hero is here. Well, they let my mama walk all the way back to the cell. Guess what she made me, Joe? What? Fuck your ass, my pump. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking shit, it's a gun and this bitch a bomb or something. My mama is a G. I'm finna get the fuck up out of here today. I dismantled that motherfucker like, he should have been here. What the fuck is he doing? The fuck is going on? Guys, I mean that motherfucker going crazy so bad, right? Jump about 155, G. The bar's about four inches off the floor down the bar. I'm thinking, I can squeeze the fuck up under there. <laughs> if I could get my head out that motherfucker. But the only problem is, I don't know where they led me to. And I keep hearing that steel door. And I don't know who the fuck's sitting in here. I don't see no cap. Nigga, I'm planning an escape. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm gone crazy up in this motherfucker. I don't, even, I don't know how many hours I've been in this bitch. It's probably six. <laughs> nigga, you talking about scared straight. Nigga, look, this shit gets crazy, right? So... I don't know what the fuck time it was. Like they come back, like the Mexican dudes wake up. Boom. They wake up like, yo, bro, what the fuck going on, bro? I'm like, yo, I ain't on none of that bullshit with y'all, right? They both out of their mind. They talking to each other and shit. I'm like, they off that shit. They not even paying attention to me. So the motherfucker come back there with a, a thick ass bologna sandwich, man. I'm talking about thick as a McDonald's cup top. And he throw the motherfuckers like, man, it's wrapped up on a little piece of motherfucking white cellophane, man. A wheat bread and a white bread. One was thick, one was thin. He was like, man, y'all want this shit? I'm like, hell no, nah, bro. He throw three of them through the cell like we animals, right? Them niggas attacked that shit. One nigga was eating the bread. I'm like, damn. Matter of fact, when a nigga woke up with his pants down, he forgot he was asleep. He started stumbling toward me, shitty, with his pants down. What the fuck is going on? I'm like, niggas be in jail. This shit, wow. Nigga, I'm damn near finna turn to a savage. Fuck it, I'm ready right now. I've been in this motherfucker like four hours. Fuck it. My life is over. I don't know why they got me like this, but bitch, we would rather die. Fuck it. So they come get a motherfucker like you, you, and you. They handcuff us together. I'm like, this is some bullshit. They put a motherfucker on a big dumbass school bus. Take a motherfucker to 26 California. Oh my God. My worst fear has come true in life. This is what my mama was telling me about when we back there busting windows. Your ass gonna end up right here. You feel me? So, they walk a motherfucker like an underground shit. Last, you get in the motherfucker, right? I'm not lying. It's about 77 motherfuckers. Hand, like we all standing next to each other, right? Niggas say, put your back against the wall. And if your toes touch that yellow line, I'm beating your ass. Listen, if you wear 14, you getting your ass beat. You hear me? Man, Joe, he going down the line checking niggas' toes. Anybody with a shoe touching that line, he's stomach punching them. I'm talking about this motherfucker, like King Kong Bundy, man. Look. <clears throat> He stomach punched the little mess, the old Mexican man. Boom! I'm damn. He like two dudes down from me. I'm damn. He stuck his hand in his pocket. Look, he said, "Listen, everybody gonna pull their motherfucking pockets out, right?" And if you, he, at first he was like, "Pull your." At first he said, "Take your motherfucking pants off." I said, "Take my pants off." These motherfuckers tripping. 
Oh, leave me alone. Take your pants off, Jack. You hear me? Tell my pull your pockets out, flip them inside out, and flew from. You know how you be getting ready to fold your shit for you? You know, when they wrinkle out the, out the drive? You tell me I'll flew for your shit. And if anything pop on me, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm like, what the fuck? This is in you, man. My nigga, look. So motherfucker flew from their shit. Poppy flew for his shit. They stomach punch him. Boom. He go down, stick his... He motherfucker, that shit got on me. He stuck his hand in Poppy pocket with some rubber gloves on. He come up with some pocket lint. From 20 yards away, he asked the other nigga, what this look like? He said, it look like marijuana. They drug Poppy ass again. I'm all shit. This shit is wild. You talking about over skin straight? Well, listen. Well, I got a job right now. Fuck all that shit. Sweat up. Listen. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, like, all right. Joe, I'm standing there. You don't want to take your drawers off, your socks. Ed, I'm standing there ass naked, Joe. Feet on low floor. What the fuck going on, Joe? Man, Joe, so you put your motherfucking clothes back on, right? They take a motherfucker up. Do some little shit. Boom, boom, boom. Now you end up in some little. Sales, but they not sales, lads. It's the bullpen. They call it the bullpen. It looked like the fence on somebody's yard, but it's inside, and it's like six, eight on right here. But they all crammed shot. They didn't did the little other dude so wrong. They didn't gave him his cell phone and took his battery. That nigga like anybody got two wires up in his bitch. I'm finna call everybody. Look, man, it's crazy. Two niggas coming in fighting. Hey man, yo, it's your fault we in here. It's your fault we in here. Now I'm standing there watching the whole shit. They get to fighting the police. You you ever seen that um that commercial when the motherfucker be jumping over the chairs and shit, like the hurdles and shit? That's how the police came and beat their ass. The next time I saw Buddy, he had the motherfucker gauze wrapped around his motherfucker head and the bunny rabbit ears tied around. I was like, this shit is over. Wow. So I'm selling that shit. A motherfucker found some weed. I get the smell of weed. Motherfucker like, hey, um, put that shit out. When, when she said, or a lady said, put that shit out. I looked up and just happened to see somebody I know. My homie Tommy, he was like, hey, yo, man, get your ass over here. Put your face against this gate. I said, what? He said, nigga, put your face against the gate. I put my face against the gate just because he said so. Listen, man, he came in there and destroy everybody ass who didn't motherfucker had their face against the gate and the nigga who was hitting a roach at the end joe ain't even see him leave this is why i'm saying joe they, they was around his ass i just saw assholes and elbows they were stomping his ass all the way out when they carried him out of there i didn't even see him there was so many motherfuckers around him and carrying him they just looked like a group of brown shirts leaving what you said they called like, you said they caught him smoking a roach hell yeah like Soon as he found up the roach, we like underground in a little in a big ass room. Man, a bunch of niggas huddled around. That nigga wanted to be the last one to hit it. And they rushed his ass like he was fourth and one. You hear me? They rushed his ass like it was fourth and one. Smoked him. I ain't even see him leave because there was so many motherfuckers around him. I'm like, this shit is over crazy. So now, fuck that. I gotta get on savage mode. Anybody, I'm I'm, I'm ready to die. Fuck. Tonight is it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I just saw, t- look. <clears throat> Man, the motherfucker say, hey, everybody right here, step over there and take your shirt off. Man, nail up. They say, shorty, your little ass, step your dumb ass over there and take your shirt off. Man, I swear to God, I step in the motherfucker bullpen. and he's all grown. I take my shirt off, bro. I'm swelling up. Fuck it. I got helium in my shit tonight. Fuck it. Blowing up. Fuck, fuck it. An old man looked at me and said, Hey, sure, this is your first time up in here, ain't it? I said, Hell no. He said, Yes, it is, motherfucker. You too angry. <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I sat down next to that nigga, right? Now here they come with these big dumb ass sandwiches again, right? Same sandwich, right? I don't eat none of that shit, right? They flipped that shit in the cell joint. I said, But I was like, Hell no. Who won't, before I can say this, Man, with so many niggas rushing me, I just threw that shit in the pack. Like, yo, the fuck, bro? Look, I don't mean that motherfucker right. They like, everybody in this cell step in this line. I ain't getting in that motherfucking line. They like, get your dumb ass in that motherfucking line right there. 
And my fuck maybe take all my jewelry, give me all my take all my property and shit, man. I'm like, man, look, man, that's my motherfucking rings over there. He's like, bro, like, man, get your dumb ass over there. I'm like, these people ain't even here, man. This shit is not no type of service. What the fuck is going on? So look. My life so good. I don't know. Look, right now I hate this fucking song. That fucking I want to get away. I wanna fly. That shit. Don't play that shit. Oh, I'll push the motherfucker out the window. I'll like, play that shit around me, period. Straight up. So, again, that this why. Because we in this motherfucking line, man. And I'm looking at every motherfucker, like, in front of me. But the one nigga that's at the door, they got him turned face toward the door. The nigga that's before him is streaming every time. Oh, 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 oh. what the fuck going on? Y'all like the fourth nigga in line, Joe. I don't know what the fuck they expect because I can't see shit. So look, it's my turn and I don't know what the fuck everybody's screaming about on the other side of this motherfucking man right here, right? Man, you talking about the most terrifying shit in my life, G? Listen, so the, the, the motherfucker standing at the door is like 7'2". He like, man, step up. I step up and try to look. He said, face the door, motherfucker. So I tried to like... Pause for a second. That nigga balled his fist up. I just faced the door like cause I saw them bunny rabbit ears. They gave the last motherfucker, right? I ain't come up in here for that shit, right? So I'm facing the door. While I'm facing the door, I swear to God, man, anybody in Chicago that that's my age that done been to Cook County Jail can attest in the comments this right here. A man came out. He was black as tar. He was skinny as a broom. He had one big shoe, one little shoe. The rubber gloves didn't even fit on the tip. His glasses were thick as Roger Thomas. I swear to God, he walked up and said, Bitch, I'm the dick doctor. I said, What? The what? I'm still facing the door. I can't really look at the nigga. I'm just looking at him out the corner of my eye like, What? He like, I'm the dick doctor. If you move, we gon' hurt your dick. I'm like, what the fuck is going on up here? Man, I'm suing this shit out of these people, G. You said he, he said, turn up. You said he was a he was a CO? Yeah, but he had on like a doctor coat, though. He had on like a doctor coat. Uh-huh. But he, the nigga the nigga was skinny, man, like Kermit the Frog. It looked like a dark Kermit the Frog with Roger Thomas glasses on with a Frankenstein shoe. The motherfucker walked up like I'm like, and if you move, I'ma hurt you. I swear to God, lads, I'm not lying, Joe. If any motherfucker my age hear this story, they gonna tell you, like, dude, ass ain't lying, Joe. And they pay every motherfucker after this, too. Motherfuckers got a check in Chicago for this retarded motherfucker, man, puppet ass motherfucker. Look, but when I, when it was, look, I'm standing facing the door, right? So the motherfucker, like, you next. Why I turn around, the midget nigga ain't even right there. It's a light skinned nigga with an afro. The nigga gonna say, take your dick out over the garbage can. I said, what? The nigga who just standing at the door who brought his fist up, linked in my ear, said, take your dick out over the garbage can. Man, I was the most, oh my God. Man, that motherfucker showed a Q-tip in my dick job. Oh my God, yo. After that, they put a motherfucker in a, in a bullpen, right? Now I'm in a bullpen. I'm in that motherfucker again, like, this shit is inhuman. I can't wait to get out of here. I damn near want to go over there and cry. This shit is wild. Where my mama at? She, I just saw her. <laughs> shit, she's going for the bomb and the asthma pump or something. She tripping, G. This ain't right. So, I'm, I'm in the motherfucker bullpen, like, fuck, man. Fuck. The lady come call my name, right? She like, yo, Manny Gomez. I'm like, that's me. She said, bitch ass nigga, stop playing me before I go get the male officer. She said, stop playing me, bitch ass nigga, before I go get the male officers. I couldn't even say shit. I ain't got no idea on me or not. I just walked away because I saw them bunny rabbit here they gave the last motherfucker. I wasn't getting them bitches. So I'm like, damn. So she come back again, like, yo, man, he go, man. I'm like, ma'am, that is me. She's like, oh, shit, my bad. I thought you was playing. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is not a playing situation. So he put me in another bullpen, right? Now I'm in this bullpen, right? These niggas is jumping around, happy, go lucky. They, they, man, look, it's, it's a party over here. It's a nigga in the middle, choreographer in the party. Like, he DJ Red Alert. Like, who smoke weed, niggas? I oh, do. Who smoke platinum? What the fuck is platinum? Oh, the shit, the Mexican niggas was high off of. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
So, but it's one motherfucker like a white dude. He is banging his hand on the gate uncontrollably. Bing, 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 bing. The police came over there and said, hey, yo, why the fuck he keep banging his head on that thing? Motherfucker like, we don't know him. He said, all right, bet. Check it out. If he keep doing that shit, I'm going to pick three of y'all randomly to stay tonight. Motherfucker like, bang your head again, bitch. Bang your shit again. We're going to kill you up here today. But so little did I know, that was the, like, I was like, hey, man. Why everybody over here so motherfucking happy? He's like, man, so if you over here, then that mean you finna get bonded out. You finna go home. I just stood in the corner, god damn it, like I just won the MVP award. Like all oh, motherfucking people, Joe. Swear God. Look. So that shit take another like 10 hours. Man, look. I'm in that motherfucker, in that motherfucker, in that motherfucker. Man, I'm walking out that motherfucker, right? They walking me out of shit. I ain't even happy yet. Motherfucker, like, hey, y'all let him go wrong. He, I was supposed to keep him. Motherfucker, like, who? For like, you, niggas, I'm talking. Motherfucker, grab me again and handcuff me. Walk me back to the back. I said, oh, hell no, if you lose me in the system over some bullshit, <laughs> this is fucked up. They walk me in the back. Thank God it was the lady who saw me the first time who was going to get my ass whooped. She said, no, I'll let him go. God damn it, he ain't right. I'm shit. Man, that shit took another 10 hours. When I got out that motherfucker, Joe, I walked out that gate, Joe, and jumped in the air like Michael Jordan when he hit the shot over Craig Elo. I swear to God. <laughs> Crazy shit in the world, lad. So, don't let no motherfucker, do, like all the motherfuckers be talking about that shit. I know everybody had a high life, but some of this shit that y'all say, Really stuck to some of our shorties, man. You feel me? There's shorties in the hood that was your friend that didn't go to jail because he was like, man, I ain't man, fuck that. And plus, shout out to my mama. She don't play that shit. She'll twist your motherfucker ass. You'll be looking at your own booty cheeks. Tell you, she'll kill your stupid ass. You feel me? Yeah, bro. <clears throat> so you said they you said they they kept you in there for what? How long you was in there all together? 24 hours last. When I got out that motherfucker and got back to the hood, I thought I did a bid. Yo, it's crazy because it's crazy because nowadays central bookings be 24 hours, but back in the days that shit used to be three days. What? So imagine last. doing that shit for three days. Last. What? Look. I swear to God, so I got back to the hood like, yo, what time is it, man? What day is it? I felt like yo ass got locked up last night. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Last night? Nigga, I'm like three days ago. Mother, like today is Thursday, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't never going back to Jafar. Fuck that shit. Hell no. It's a total man fuck, bro. Yeah, that shit'll fuck you up. That's why they call that shit. Go. That's why they call that shit bullpen therapy, bro. Because man, I, after 24 hours of that, nigga be ready to cop out to anything. Nigga, look, you ain't the only motherfucker I didn't heard say. They put a motherfucker in a why me pen, and the motherfucker was in that bitch so long, he said, why me? I <laughs> said, hell no, <laughs> not me, but not me, fuck that. <laughs> we a pair of motherfucker go to jail for us, fuck, we, we, they know we love money, somebody will take it. Yo, quiet is kept though, that's why a lot of people be getting killed by cops, because motherfuckers hate going through central bookings so much, they be throwing it all away. Bitch, fuck that. He's going like, down. Look, like did, you watch that link? Did, you, did you see that link I sent you earlier? Nah, I ain't get a chance to check that yet, Okay, look, but I'm going to check that. Check the link. This, I'm going to show you. Somebody just fired a motherfucking a machine gun at the police right in front of the county jail I'm talking about. Today. Yesterday. That's crazy. Oh, by the way, I got to put this part of the story, too. Okay. True facts. A nigga like me do not want to go to 26 in California. Listen, they got the best Popeyes on the west side of Chicago. But if you get you some chicken out that motherfucker, you a bad man. Listen, you walk up at that motherfucker, they're going to get you, Jack. They're going to get everybody over in that neck. It's not nigga friendly. Let me just say that. I ain't dissing nobody because I love my whole city. But that neighborhood is not nigga friendly. Please don't go over there. Don't be buying no taco. Do nothing. What Fuck you, you mean? Can do what you mean? Me. You talking about white people or Mexicans? Man, 
Mexicans. Look, why don't what, I don't want to catch your ass up? What you? What are you? Half and half? My father Puerto Rican. I'm black though. Oh yeah, you like me? Yeah, my yeah. pops is Puerto Rican, but I grew up. I grew up in my mom's crib. Gee. I'm a nigga. Like, they don't even, like, they nobody even know I was Puerto Rican until I started speaking Spanish. They like, get the fuck. Yo, name Manny Gomez. Fuck it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm Manny Gomez. Fuck it. So you said, you said over there where that Popeyes is, that shit ain't, you said that shit is not Hell Negro. Hell no. It's not Negro Hell. friendly. Hell, it's not Negro friendly. You're going to be in the chicken. You going to be, you know, I remember your shit, four froze have like turkey wings. They going to serve your shit to a motherfucker. <laughs> They gonna serve your shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, rain, sleet, or snow, they gonna serve your shit. So you can't even go to jail and get out. And then they bogus. They gonna let you out at two in the morning. Niggas be getting initiation off a nigga. Catch one of them and blow their ass down. Fuck out of here. You feel me? Getting out of jail, nigga? Look, look it up. Look, look it up. People got hurt getting out of Cook County jail. You gonna know say I don't even want to mention the story, but one, it just recently happened. It's over crazy. Shout out to my old city, man. I love my old city, but that shit crazy, man. What you mean? Like, niggas be catching niggas coming out the jail? They hit G like 60 times in the face. In front of the jail. He got right out, hit him 60 times in his face, right? I think I remember reading up about that shit or something. Man, that shit happened every day, every night. That shit happened just a few minutes ago. (laughs) Somebody just got out and got chased. I'm telling you, man. (laughs) <laughs> For real, you can't go over there. Who you gonna call? How you gonna get what? Look, niggas get out of jail and get niggas rides. They don't even know. We could be ops, nigga, and get out of jail together, nigga. And I see you and you see me. Whoever ride pull up, get your ass in the car, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you feel me? We gotta get back out west. <laughs> we gotta get right back over here. You see me though? Yeah, so what part of Chicago is that? We the California? It's, we on the west side. We on the west side. No, I'm talking about where side. the jail is at. On the west side, but it's right. It's right on the tip of the south side. You feel me? It's on 26 in California. It's on our side of town, but you can consider it where they part of town starts. So they put it like on the borderline. We gonna get everybody. Fuck it. Everybody going here. Over ruthless. I'm talking this. Man, fuck that. I just want to tell another side of the story. You know what I'm saying? Because it seemed like motherfuckers be hating because a motherfucker didn't come out. Motherfucker, I came out on top in that story. Or I didn't come out on top in that story. Well, let me tell y'all, all y'all something. Everybody who mad and, and who be telling these stories. Some of us shorties was listening. Some of us was listening, Joe. Some of us was like, oh, hell no, nah, fuck that. You're right. You're right. And I think that's the motivation and the, the 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 way the channel going. You know what I'm saying? Like you say all the time, we ain't glorifying this shit. We trying to change somebody's mind today. Yo, so let me ask you. Did you ever see, your, you saw your pops after that? Y'all reconciled your differences or yeah, what? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I fuck with my pops. He cool than a motherfucker. I fuck with him, Joe. I fuck with him like a motherfucker. But that shit on my record, anytime I try to get a job, they ask me. That shit is like a real shit come up. I'll be like, yo, it's my pops, bro. I got to explain that shit every time. So I just wrote a formal letter and just put it in my resume. Fuck it. <laughs> you got a yeah. formal letter about about that incident and <laughs> shit? Yeah, so don't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, though. I just want to say that, man. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with my pops. He cool, man. He's still a sucker, but I fuck with him.